Hello and welcome to Physics Minutes. I'm your hostess Pauline, and today we're going to be looking at a fundamental concept in physics known as Newton's First Law. Sir Isaac Newton was an influential scholar from the 16 and 1700s who put forth a lot of important ideas that changed the world of physics and math. He's most well known for his three laws of motion, the first of which we're going to be looking at today. The first law is known as the law of inertia. It states that unless acted on by an outside force, an object will remain in the state of uniform motion. We can think of this like an object traveling through a vacuum like space. Unless something comes in and interferes with the object, it will continue along its path of motion. We can also use skateboarding as an example. We'll say that our scientist is mass A and our skateboard is mass B, and both are traveling at the same initial velocity. If the skateboard were to hit something like a rock, that rock would exert a force on the skateboard, stopping it. However, since no force is being exerted on our scientist, according to the law of inertia, they will continue along their previous path of motion. But let's go test this in real life, just to make sure we have this right. So the law of inertia basically states that objects in motion tend to stay in motion, and objects at rest tend to stay at rest. So we're going to show you that by putting an air puck on a flat surface. And because it experiences little to no friction, it shouldn't be experiencing any forces if we move the surface underneath it, and it should stay in the same spot. As we can see, no forces are being applied to the air puck, so it's staying in the center of the surface. So that's objects at rest. For objects in motion like this air puck that experience no forces such as friction, after given an initial push, they should continue along their original trajectory. The same thing applies for much larger objects as well. And that's Newton's first law. Thanks for watching Physics Minutes, and we'll see you next time.